All right, Gemini, welcome in. Hope everybody's doing great today. This is a reading for November for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm going to look at love and relationships. I'm going to look at career and money. In the extended, I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign so you know what and who you're dealing with. And uh, there we go. All right. So uh, those of you who are uh, Geminis, just know, like, show your pride by hitting that like button. The zodiac sign that gets the most likes is going to get a bonus reading. So just letting you know. Uh, tonight I am hosting my first coaching group for those in the spiritual business community, the spiritual business class of mine. If you want to jump onto that, this is kind of the last call. We're starting it tonight, uh, at 6 PM Eastern time. Okay. Link in description box. Let's see where we go. Okay. <laughs> Crossing bridges. Impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. That's interesting. And unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Sometimes you just need to hear that, right? Like we've been having um, some crazy energy during this eclipse season. Um, the full moon in Taurus happening on October 28th is kind of like a, a shedding or a closing of a door. Um, so some of you are re getting released from... Um, a static situation that you've been part of or a situation that you haven't known or haven't had any control over or have had no idea of what to do with. I think that's releasing you or I think you're actively turning your attention in a new direction. Um, you are exactly where you need to be. This new direction is the right thing. Just know, I mean, this could be like a new love coming in. Um, you could have been really focused for like the last 18 months on your business and kind of like focus, focus, focus. And now all of a sudden something else is taking your attention. So heads up on that. Let's use this uh, mermaid deck. Let's use the mermaid deck. Um, like I said, the cards that are underneath are the things that you don't see coming. I'll look at love and relationships, money and career, and then a little wild card over here. So Hang on tight, babies. Temperance, right out the gate. Your opposite sign. Oopsie, not that. This. Uh, five of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, Sun, Taurus, and the Ten of Pentacles. I love it. Okay. So, woo! All right. So I feel like you have been kind of like a warrior for a little while here, and... This is a confusing situation. I'm not saying that I'm confused about it. I'm looking at it and like you could be in like the middle of kind of a hurricane or the middle of something that is changing big time. But I want to say to you, like, look at this sun, um, Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. There's a long term love situation coming your way. And, you know, I almost feel like there's somebody that needs to get out of the way. OK, I, I feel like this either this person is with somebody else right now and they're clearing that or you're with somebody and you're clearing that. It's like especially if you've been in a situation for a long time that hasn't been happy or hasn't been doing well. It's like, OK, it's time to really clear that. Um, some of you could finally be coming to the end of a cycle with somebody, uh, the end of. And just having to release it, just having to be like, you know what? And actually, this looks like. With the lighthouse here, this does look a little bit like Maine. I know this is a <laughs> this is a mermaid deck and everything like that, but that, that looks like Maine to me and looks very similar to what's going on here. So there's some kind of letting go of a long time situation in order to allow something else to come in. All right. So let's see where the where the readings take us. Let's see where the readings take us. So three of wands, the Empress, Tower. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Wow. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So you see the threes here, the, the Three of Wands and the Empress card. This can have been a third party situation that's no longer a third party situation. 
All right. That person may have gone away from their partner. You may have gone away from a partner or something like that. This is going in a much better direction. I can see this King of Pentacles and King of Cups. Like you might be coming together with somebody who's very balanced with you. This person is on your same wavelength. There's there's the two feminine energies with the two masculine energies, the King of Cups, King of Pentacles and two kings, right? Masculine and feminine being um, integrated. Uh, this can have a distinctly more masculine feel to it, even though I'm getting this like Empress energy here. Um, this is the energy of Venus and the tower showing up. It's sort of like, wow, all of a sudden, like my heart is open all of a sudden, like I'm not stuck anymore. I'm kind of now in a love situation that I, have you seen this coming? Do you know that this is coming? I mean, I, I definitely feel like there's a new chapter here and it's like the eclipse had to like, especially with the Taurus energy here, the eclipse had to release something in order for this to show up in your life. Wow. Okay. Now your career discussion over here, <laughs> nine of cups, judgment, six of wands. Good, good, good. Knight of pentacles, eight of wands, eight of swords, two of cups. There's something, um, I almost feel like this has to do with this, that the, the new love situation or the, you know, the open heart, right? It just gets, I just feel like there has been a stuckness or a seven of pentacles, seven of cups, kind of like stagnancy and not sure what to do about it. But once that heart opens, it's like it, it has benefit for your work too. I feel like this new partner coming in is also somebody who is going to benefit your work, right? Like you are exactly where you need to be. This is a very different place than maybe you thought you were going to be even in even just a few weeks ago. All right. This is absolutely a new place. So what's the wild card? What's the wild card coming in? What's the wild card coming in? Six of swords. Hermit. Virgo energy, the six of cups from a past life, lovers. There's your card, Gemini, lovers, emperor, five of pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. Five of pentacles, two of pentacles and the, okay. So this is the reason. Okay. So this is all changing. The reason that it's changing is that one of you has let go of either low self-esteem or a, 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 a situation that has drained your finances. Some of you are letting go of like beating your head up against a wall and like getting no results. Some of you are just letting go of that. Five of Pentacles, two of Pentacles and the Capricorn card. Okay, so we do have Pluto. I will talk about this for a second. We do have Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. And earlier this year, we had a short visit into Aquarius, like for three months or so. And that was in like March, April, May, or um, definitely May and June. Okay. So whatever happened in that um, April, May, June time period is, was, was like a little bit of a reflection of what's coming. And when Pluto goes into Aquarius, even though there's a little wobble back in a Capricorn next year, it's in Aquarius for the next 15 years. So we have had Pluto and Capricorn, which is about um, transformation, Pluto, transformation of the status quo, of the rules and regulations, of the structures, of the uh, authority figures of like, this is how we've always done it. This is how we're always going to do it, right? There's just that sense that it's become a prison. And I feel like you as a, um, you know, one of the many dots of light are finally releasing something that like I, I this is how I've always done it. So I'm going to pound my head against the wall and pound my head against the wall until, you know, the beatings will continue until morale improves kind of thing. And I just get the sense that like there is some big shift and this is the tower energy. I'm going to clarify that for you. Um, let's clarify the tower. What is this tower? It's not without loss. Okay. What is this tower? Four of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. 
There's that devil energy again. Seven of cups, seven of cups again. I don't think you see this coming. I think this is a situation where you're setting yourself free of a financial situation or of a toxic relationship that has held you fast because of debt or because something to do with money, debt or self-worth, staying in a bad situation because of self-worth. That is something that is going to be blown up, blown up, sir. Right? Like there's, you can't hold on to it anymore. There's nothing to hold on to anymore, right? Why is the five of cups here? Four of swords. We're healing, right? Having some courage, taking some, yeah, six of cups. Wow. Seven of wands and the six of cups here. So there is a sense of standing up for oneself. There is a sense of this is not what I signed up for. This is not what I bargained for. This is not what I wanted to do. Maybe there is a third party. Maybe you have a partner who has another person, right? There's a third party and there's a tower coming. Okay. So the good news is on the other side of that, there is a, uh, a balanced, generous, kind partner coming in that isn't about third parties, that isn't about any of that. This is a long-term commitment that wants to show up for you. Okay, the sun, the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. So long-term good stuff. And I I'm going to say this to you. A year from now, you're going to look back on this and say, why was I holding on to this? It's going to get so much better. Why was I holding on to this, like, kind of not good thing? Okay, kind of a not good thing. I think you are freeing yourself from mindset too around, especially around money or around what you're capable of. I think you're freeing yourself from doing, from having a grind or something like that, something that's been a grind. Um, and I just feel like this is so much more freeing. There's something, uh, okay. It's really helping other people. The Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. It's helping other people and it's helping you at the same time. King and Queen of Pentacles. I want to clarify that to a cups here. Lovers, there's your card again. Lovers, Hierophant, King of Pentacles. Yep, King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. This person is uh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my word, Nine of Swords. There's guilt, okay? I, I feel like this is so much better than what you've left behind. I think there's some guilt here. Like, this is so great. I want to share it with the person or with this, the, um, hmm. You're going to look back on, on this stuck thing and just be like, what was I thinking? Why was I, why was I beating my head up against a wall? Come here, you. Why was I beating my head up against a wall? This is now, this new place is unknown territory. But you know what? It's like the 10 of pentacles and the sun and like, Good stuff coming. All right. So let's see how you get there. I do feel like the tower is something that towers are things that blow apart structures that have no longer, no longer have any utility or service that they're, they're outmoded, right? They're like out, they're overdone. They're past, they're passe. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to go deeper into this reading. If this is your reading, there's a link below. I will pull cards for each zodiac sign to see who you're dealing with. Okay, you can, if you don't know who this is, let's see where we go. Okay, link is below. See you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.